Good afternoon. Uh, we have our homework today for decomposing fractions um, with diagrams, with tape diagrams. It says right here we're going to decompose the shaded area. What we're doing is just taking the fraction that we have and then just breaking it down a little bit further, trying to see what parts make up this part. It's just like parts of parts of parts of parts and we just just keep going backwards and more and further and long into it. But what we have here is from this endpoint here to this endpoint here we have one whole section. If we want to look at this as though that this is a ruler, if it's a pencil, it is a whole something. And what they've done here is they labeled this section of it as one half. Well if that's one half then this section over here is also going to be one half. What they've done is they've divided the first section, the first half section, into three more equal sections. Well, if you do it for the first half, then you have to do it on the second half. So we've actually divided the whole section into six equal groups. So what the student should be able to recognize there is 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6, which is the first half that shaded equals 3 6, and that 3 6 equals a half. What they've done here is taken what they have here, where they divided it into three equal groups, well then they've taken it and divided it into five equal groups. Well, what you do with the first half of it, you do on the second half of it. So you have to divide it into five equal groups again. So if you have the whole piece, half of it with five, the back half with five, the whole piece has ten equal division, equal parts. They're showing that one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth, those five tenths equal one half of the object. They're just, we're doing equivalent fractions with a diagram. Instead of using the hands-on objects, taking objects and breaking them apart with our hands, we're now just drawing them out. Students will be able to use drawings on the K-Prep test at the end of the year. They won't be able to use manipulatives. So the more practice we have drawing it out and explaining it through drawings, the better, the, the more accurate the students will be at the end of the year on their test. Once again, I'll show you here on this one here that hasn't been labeled or done for us. We have one-fourth, one-fourth divided into two equal parts. This here's the beginning. This is the end. That's one whole. Four equal groups. Those four equal groups divided into equal groups again, and that will give us one-eighth because there's eight equal groups. Over here on this side, they've taken that one-fourth again, divided it even further. What's that fraction going to be? Add them all up and see what it comes out to be as well. 1, 2, A. Uh, to A, B, and C. They're wanting you to take a fraction, take your, um, your tape diagram. And once again, that is equals 1. That represents 1. So the students should be able to recognize this and say that these four shaded, or these three shaded parts of the four, your fraction is 3 fourths. They want, then want to take it and have you divide it each section more. So how much is that section going to be worth? How much is that? How much is that? And then that one. And that one. And then that one. And what's it going to be worth? And you have the exact same drawing over here. You have another 3 fourths. Well, decompose it a different way. This is two different ways. So if you divided each section one way over here, over here on this side, you might do it and do it this way. And then tell me how much that is. And that one, and that one, and that one, and then so forth and so on for the whole tape diagram to show me the equivalent fractions and then you'll do it on this on B and then you'll do it on C as well for each of these three from here to here is a whole what is this fraction divide it up equally throughout the whole thing what's your fraction what's it going to be worth and I forgot to do that one over here and one of the things I do tell the kiddos is don't worry about it being perfect we're not building pianos so if you make a mistake on your drawing no big deal
on the back side of the homework, they've given you the fractions like they have in previous worksheets, homeworks, and have asked you to draw the tape diagram from nothing. So what they have is 3 sixths and 6 twelfths. So they're asking you to draw a figure. If it's 3 sixths, that means it's 6 equal places. So we're going to draw 5 lines for 6 equal spots. Label 3. That'll give me my 3 sixths. And then I can divide those 3 sixths into two equal group or groups of from there and that'll give me 12 equal spaces well there's one two three four five six twelfths there so that would be one twelfth plus 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 one twelfth and that will equal six twelfths the same thing for c and d um, each one of these would just be breaking it down a little bit further a little bit further um, this one right here, when it has the 2 of 6, and then we have the 18th, that tells us that we are going to have to take 2 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take that 2 6 here, and then we're actually going to have to take those and not do it in groups of four because if we do it in groups of four that will give us four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four groups we need groups of eighteen so instead of doing it this way be careful take your groups of six divide them up into groups of threes so then we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then we would see the groups of 18. So then if we took the original 6th and I'm trying to get this as good as I can here. That is 2, 6th. There we go. Let me draw that out a little bit differently to show the two six. There we go. There's your two sixth. And then the two six are then divided out again as well. All right. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, I may do a different video showing the back of it. Um, if I get in, if I get enough um, parents, guardians to say that it's still confusing. Um, we just might redo this one again tomorrow. Hopefully I explained it well enough to where the students and you all can uh, get through this. This does lead heavily into the direction that we need to go in with equivalent fractions. Once again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to visit my wiki spaces. That is Damon Hall, S D A M O N H A L L dot wiki spaces, W I K I S P A C E S. Dot com. Once you join, you don't have to re, um, re sign up. Just remember your login and password. Leave any comment that you would like to have me answer. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.